Good evening. The word of the day is regroup. We were out doing some work today, my son and I. I had two things I really wanted to get done. I wanted to get a load of wood cut to take to a person. I had some hardwood slabs that came from the sawmill that I had sawed up in firewood length. And I had a few places down in the pasture where I had some tree limbs and things that I wanted to clean up and cut up into firewood and I knew somebody that could use them. So we were going to try to do that and I had one other thing to do. So we went down in the pasture with the tractor hooked to the trailer to load the wood on and the chainsaw. And we started at one place and cut a tree limb up and got it loaded up and went to the next one. And I started cutting the top of this tree up that we had cut down back in the summer. And I told my son, I said, back the trailer down there closer to it. He started backing down the hill, and I was motioning for him to come on back. And I saw this limb, not much bigger than my thumb, sticking up there. And I thought, that won't hurt anything. Well, that was wrong. The tires on that old farm trailer, I don't know how old they are. But they had to be really old. Because that limb about the size of my thumb, it had a little bit of a sharp point on it, but not nothing real sharp. But it caught in the side of that tire just perfect. And when he backed up just a little further, that limb went right through the side of that tire. And I heard the air go, and saw the tire go flat. So I knew we couldn't take that load of wood anywhere on that trailer. So Caleb said, what are we going to do? I said, well, I guess we're going to go back to the house and get another trailer. So we regrouped, got ourselves back together. He went to the house and got another trailer. It wasn't really the kind of trailer I'd want to use to haul wood on it because it was a flatbed trailer that we used to haul tractors and other things. And so we had to carefully stack the wood out of the trailer because it was already about two-thirds or three-fourths loaded, plus add the wood that I'd cut for that tree trailer. Tree tree top that we hadn't loaded yet onto that trailer and take our time and carefully stack it and everything. And I'm thinking, oh no, I don't know if we're going to get the other job that I wanted to do done. But we were able to regroup, carefully put the wood on the trailer, pulled it out very carefully with the tractor we had hooked it to, hooked it up to the truck, and drove it the mile or so up the road behind the truck very carefully without losing any wood. We came back and I thought, I think we've got just enough time to do the other thing that we did, had to do. And we got it all done before dark, and it worked out okay. But if we hadn't been willing to regroup and change our plans and keep on trying, we'd have never made it. Sometimes you got to regroup and try again. You can't let a little adversity stop you. And you can't let an old tire and a stick stop you either. I hope you can regroup and have a great day.